part of the ambition of the rewilding and the business is kind of to reconnect people with nature. People will feel more attached to the venue as a result of us doing all of this rewilding and doing the right thing for Scotland's biodiversity. I came back here about five years ago in 2018. Because the wedding and events business had really taken off, the farm had kind of taken the sideline and um, we weren't really doing much with the 100 acres of farm that we had left at that stage. I read a book called Wilding by Isabella Tree, which I think has inspired a lot of people in this area, and I, d I did find it incredibly inspiring. My father grew up here. It was an arable farm until the late 90s. It used to be 250 acres, but with mo modern farming, that was really too small to be commercially viable. So we've tried a number of different enterprises here. And so I thought it would be a great thing to do to try and basically mimic what, they, what um, they've done at NEP here in a kind of our own way on a smaller scale. I needed alternative sources of income to make it make sense. We had a, a pheasant farm for uh, four years. And from then we tried uh, quad biking and off-road driving and uh, co corporate events generally. Then we moved on to doing events inside in the, in the buyer. But you know, I think it's probably more successful as a business now than it's ever been. I've lived here through huge changes in agriculture. The rotation and everything was much less intensive than it is now. We were probably halfway to, to wilding, the way it was farmed when, when I grew up here. Coco and Ginger are uh, resident Highland cows. They are basically looking after the land for us. They break up the ground and they allow a greater diversity of plant life to come through and grow and that will be great for biodiversity in the long run. My name's Jenny. I'm the rewilding officer here at Kinkel and my job is to look after the rewilding project work with local groups, school groups, volunteers, and generally make sure that the project is going along as it should be. So we're re-establishing things like native woodlands, planting hedgerows, sowing wildflower meadows, and putting in water features as well. Trying to bring back lost habitat from when this was a sort of an intensively farmed area. I think the results are speaking for themselves, particularly this summer, we've definitely noticed uh, an increase in our wildflower meadows. And also just to start to see some of the young trees popping through the tree guards, to know that they're healthy and, and thriving even is really exciting. We're only 100 acres. We're not gonna have a massive impact in, in terms of you know, Scotland's whole landscape. But what it would be great to do is to allow people to learn from what we're doing and also just change perceptions and educate people about rewilding and the impact it can have. So get people out into what will be a rewilded landscape, teach them about the plants and the animals that are in it, teach them how to use the produce of the land. Linking up with other neighboring landowners would be fantastic. There are lots of people around here doing good stuff and that's that's the greatest thing about Northwoods and their rewilding network is connecting up these small landowners. My biggest piece of advice would be don't be put off by what rewilding might mean to you. Anyone can really achieve it. It doesn't you don't have to have acres and acres of land. There's loads of different things that you can do on the land that you have. It'll bring you so much joy.
Yes, so I absolutely do think rewilding and business can work together. Bigger picture, you know, if we can totally transform this landscape and make something really special and unique, I mean, that's going to attract people here and that's going to be good for the business as well.